Um. Why is the sky red? What did I do? What did I do? Um. I think. Who? What the hell? What are these obelisks? That's a triangle. They've made a triangle in it. No. Oh sh! <laughs> oh! Well, are you supposed to be out of the booth. I'm getting back in the booth. Ha! Jokes on you, Nukes Top Five. I showed up to this reaction with my pants already pre-shit, so you're out. So you're shit out of luck on making me shit myself. Oh, um. Actually, now. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. Come on. He's got his nose covered. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say you don't need to be like covering your nose because of me. You need to be covering your nose because of that little thing. That, that big, big old excuse of a, of a whoopee cushion down there. He hasn't been as bad lately, thankfully. Well, it's the food. It's the food that uh, that Kate found that. Has been doing wonders for him and uh, not making him as gassy. Yeah. But every now and again, he he drops a carpet bomb and it just it, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it like is like noxious fumes, but it's definitely like a a, a room clearer. It's like, woo. Were you able to use those codes that I sent? Yes. Okay. I got I used all the stuff and yeah, I I ordered food off of Chewy. Uh, earlier, uh, you know, cat food and dog food, because uh, you know, we we need to keep these animals fed and everything. So, I guess we'll see. Uh, you know, we'll see how things how things pan out with that. But Nuke's top five is, you know, doing a top ten video, which I gotta say that's a bit false advertising. Yeah, a bit false advertising. Yeah. I mean. You, you expect us to enjoy... It's a multiple of five. I, I know. But I'm just I'm just saying... I was just trying to be funny. Just be like... You expect us to enjoy twice as much of your content? I feel yeah, like I don't like even know you anymore. Like we have spans or something. Yeah. Well, this one's only 25 minutes long. I mean, it's not like any of his other videos. He has some videos on his channel that's over an hour long. I'm like... Ain't oh. nobody got time for that. Oh, that's Unless for I'm on a like... trip in the car. It's for like having it on the back in the background. You know? Yeah, I watch some of those scary videos in the background. Sometimes. I can't do those in the background because I have to rewind every five seconds because I can't pay attention to two things at once. I no, I can only do it in the background if I'm driving. Like I can pay attention to something while I'm driving, but I can't do like a video game and that I'll only get half of both in my brain. I <laughs> while uh, editing, I can't do it. Editing, um, whenever I'm writing, yes. Whenever I'm writing and I'm, like, it just depends on the mood that I'm in. Like, if I'm wanting to write something scary or something, something you know, just, like, uh, thriller-based, yeah, you know, I'll listen to stuff like this and, like, get myself in the right mindset. Mm -hmm. But but if, like, say I'm trying to write a romance and I'm listening to Nuke's Top 5 and all of a sudden, you know, the, you know, the protagonist all of a sudden spontaneously kills his love interest, I'm just like, oh, shit. I'm listening to the wrong stuff. Hold on. Let me <laughs> let me delete all this. And it's just... Uh, oh, man. But, yeah. Nuke's top five uh, with the top ten scary ghost videos that are nightmare fuel. He's come up with every, every way of just, like, exclaiming how terrifying these videos are. It's like, like, videos so terrifying, they will give you pit stains. Video's so terrifying, it'll wake your grandma. Uh, video's so terrifying, it'll 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 cause your back to ache. Or I, I don't know. It's it, it's just. No, no, you're making shit up. No, I guarantee you, he has a video that's called that. Oh. It's just I guarantee you, like if not now, he will down the line because he's gonna have to. He's running out of epithets here. He's here soon, and it's just gonna be like. Top 10 scary ghost videos that cause you to throw your chair at the TV. Or top 10 ghost videos that that make you run out the door screaming. Hmm. Uh, you know, it, it, anyway. The, the whole deal with Nuke's Top 5 is I've always enjoyed his content. Y'all seem to enjoy whenever we react to his content. So, I guess uh, here we go with it.
Let's uh, get this up on screen and uh, check it out. Number 15. <laughs> this isn't chills. I know. Kathan hates when I watch those. Cause he's no, like, number 15. He's so monotoned. You're, I'm like, you're nothing. I mean, you talk exactly the same. I was just going to say, I just hear the, it's like, number 15. Oh my God, he's so monotone. <laughs> it's like... Yo, you're just as bad. I am not just as bad. <laughs> I'm just joking. I Kate know. Kate doesn't really talk monotone all the time. No, uh, we can hear. Well, y'all can hear him sometimes in the background. Of course, he's not monotone because eventually you just hear, "What the fuck?" Yeah. You just or just like fucking goddamn bullshit. <laughs> you just hear that every now and again. And it's like ah, there he is. Yep. Unfiltered. Twin brothers Katum and Katus from the YouTube channel Metanoise reached out to me about a very creepy event that took place at their home in Pennsylvania. Metanoise! Late one night, the two brothers are making a silly video for their Snapchat. They're messing around with a funny face morphing filter when suddenly something happens that totally freaks them out. <sighs> oh, yo, I look like a YouTube guy. Yeah, yo, this video is sponsored by Metanoise, M-E-T-A-N-O-I-Z. I got my brother over here, y'all. <laughs> I wish it did both of us, though. Nah, I don't think it does. Oh. It does. Bro, you look like Michael Phelps. <laughs> but why I look like the weed dealer from Harold and Kumar. Oh, bro, you, you kind of do. Bro, I'm not your bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> does it work on the dog? Nah, I doubt it. Oh, oh, it does. <laughs> Good pupper. Poor hit that puppy. like button, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> what the f was that? I don't know, bro. That sounded mad close to like what the f was that? I'm f shaking, bro. Hello? Heart. <sighs> there it is again. Shh. Hello? Air conditioner. No, it was like. What the hell? As Kadem tries to filter out on their cute little dog, Tempo, they hear an odd, unexplained sound coming from the living room. Then suddenly the guys hear the loud footsteps of something charging towards them. Whatever it is knocks the camera right out of Kadem's hand and onto the floor. Now the brothers' YouTube channel is dedicated to their music and podcasts. None of the videos on their page have anything to do with the paranormal. So what do you think happened here? No. Did the twins capture real paranormal activity on camera? Did little dog Temple already feel that something was off even before the brothers did? <laughs> Let me know. Reaching out. Maybe. I mean, I mean, all of a sudden you just hear like the... the, the foot I was expecting the filter to suddenly jump onto something else that wasn't yeah. actually there. You know? I've seen, a, I've seen a, a clip of that happening. Like these dudes were like outside... And they were just like doing the face swap thing, and it, like swap, and uh, like the one dude, all of a sudden he's just like, he's just like looking, and he put tits to his friend, him and his friend face swap for a little bit. He's like, ha, that's cool. And then he does it behind him, and it's nothing but just like a black, like, like a like it's dark outside, and there's like a house in the distance, and then all of a sudden he face swaps with a a part of the window that's behind him. And it's a really like dark, creepy face, and he, it swaps for like two seconds on the video. He's like, "Hit." <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. Well, it does look like there's eyes behind this again. Oh yeah, right there. <laughs> it's like it got its head tilted sideways this time. It's just like it's like, "Have you missed me? I missed me." Also, hello again, Kate. <laughs> What's good, homie? Japanese paranormal investigator Kotatsu from the YouTube channel Binchu TV sets out to investigate an allegedly haunted hotel in Saga Prefecture, Japan. Mm, it is said that Southern the owner Japan. of the hotel took her own life after financial problems forced her to close the hotel down back in 2009. The hotel has been abandoned ever since, and locals warn Somebody people to stay away as the grounds are allegedly severely haunted by the angry and vengeful spirit of the former owner. Kotatsu is all alone as he explores what's left of the hotel. 
He eventually finds the former owner's office and sits down to do a spirit box session. After not really having much luck, Kotatsu takes a short break and sits in silence as he scrolls through his phone. And this is when something happens that chills him to his core. You say that recording volume is up high. Hmm? None of Whoa! I saw like a little white flash, but I wasn't sure what it was. It was a hand. It was a hand, but when he originally, but like when he turned around fast, uh, I didn't see it, but now that it's slow motion, I see it. Ooh. The investigator hears something behind him and quickly spins around as a small pale hand can be seen jerking back inside the doorway and out of sight. It almost looks as if someone or something was about to grab him. Kotatsu says that in the split second as he spun around, he faintly saw the dark outline of a woman, but she quickly disappeared right before his eyes. Kotatsu grabs the camera and investigates the area, but there's no one there. You see, nope. <laughs> exploring abandoned buildings is always something that I'm just like, I. there's always a chance you could run into someone because if it's an abandoned building, someone could be squatting in there and you don't know the kind of person you're going to run into in there. Uh, it's like Urbex. Urbex uh, Explorer, he was in, uh, he was exploring, I think, in uh, in Cleveland, Ohio, and he was just like uh, going through the old building and he looked and there was a table that had like a water bottle and like stuff like laid out on it and everything. Mm -hmm. And then he's going back and he opens up, he pulls aside like this makeshift curtain. It's like made from like an old jacket that's just hanging there. He pushes it aside and all of a sudden on the other side of the jacket he just hears, Ooh. <laughs> And then... <laughs> It's just like, okay, I'm running out of here before some crazy, some crazy homeless man like stabs me with a rusty steak knife, because I, that's the last thing that I need in my life. Not to mention, you never know what you're gonna run up on him doing, you know. Oh, exactly. I mean, dude could have been whacking it, could have screamed because he got caught whacking it, and wasn't expecting anybody to show up in his house. <laughs> I was gonna say that, that's like a Cards Against Humanity card, right? A homeless man jerking off in the corner. That mm -hmm. it's just like. I went into this old building and found, like, I, there's so many bad cards, but it's just like, it's just like, it's like, like, Jack Black, Jack White, Jack Gray, a homeless man jerking off in the corner. That one wins. Uh... So could it be that he captured a glimpse of the owner who took her own life inside the hotel? Was she reaching out? You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Binchu TV. Ghost Cat. Late one evening, Manuel Muro and his daughter Alexia are outside their home in Carlsbad, California, when they notice something very odd in the street right in front of their house. We got a ghost cat. Okay, we got a cat in the middle of the street. Move, kitty. All right, shine the light on it. There's nothing there. Where is it? Oh my God! There's turn the light off. Okay, turn off. That's cat. so weird. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> That's dude. Weird looking. Oh, the car comes by. This looks like a blob on the camera, though. It just disappears and comes right back. What the hell? Manuel and his daughter spot a cat sitting in a very dangerous spot right in the middle of the street. But when cars pass by, inexplicably, the cat just seems to disappear into thin air. Manuel Ooh. and his daughter are freaked out by what they are seeing. So Manuel pulls out his phone and decides to record the creepy phenomena. 
Manuel and his daughter still have no idea what they saw to this day and just refer to the cat somewhat jokingly as, quote, ghost cat. <laughs> but what do you think this is? El, no clue. Is that El Gato Diablo? I mean, the blurry, blurry camera. Yeah, I mean, help, it, it doesn't help that this is literally like recording on a potato. But that is kind of unique compared to anything else I've really ever seen. Oh, yeah. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Ghost that scared my mama. Pakistani paranormal investigators Chand Ali, Asad Khan, and Sherry Khan from the YouTube channel Wokia Ta Official are investigating an abandoned building that locals Damn, claim is severely subs. haunted by a sinister entity. This entity is said to take on the shape of whoever enters the building, essentially becoming their doppelganger. As the three friends approach the structure, they begin to hear disturbing sounds coming from inside. In fact, the odd sounds make them a bit scared to even get closer. However, investigator Chandali finally dares to take a peek inside the building, and he sees something that chills him to his core. Allah, what? Oh, I see it. Hello. Hello, no. <laughs> to be seen looking back at Chand as he takes a peek inside. How you doing? I was going to say, I'm the realtor here. I've been here I've been here the last 10 years trying to sell this place. <laughs> ain't nobody ain't nobody interested. I think it's what like wow. 7 feet tall. Easily. It's like it, and it's leaning around the corner just like it, imagine that being like the ghost of Michael Jackson just like dum dum da da dum dum da da. <laughs> just like smooth criminally around the corner. He is absolutely shocked by what he has just witnessed and has to take a moment to catch his breath. Six Spider-Man shirt, bro. Eventually, all three investigators, Chand Ali, Sherry Khan, and Asad Khan, decide to team up and all step back inside the building once again. What happens next makes their blood run cold. Three of them. Oh, <laughs> A fake but that that's that's still, super well done that's a cool idea if so well i mean first off like doppelgangers you know like skinwalkers and stuff like that you know that's stuff that's very interesting to me and i uh oh she left my drops upstairs in my eyes uh oh <laughs> i was gonna say do you need us to take a break so you can go get it? if i could that'd be cool go ahead and cut well, can yeah, say, good work uh, disposing of the bot. Oh, uh, huh. uh, never mind, never mind that. Hello and welcome back. We're totally not doppelgangers that just took uh, took the renegade's place. You'll never know, though, will you? <laughs> Anywho, yes, I guess uh, let us get back to that video that we were totally watching. To be, to be real though, that is actually pretty terrifying. If I looked in and saw myself, I'd probably just like, nah. I'm... If you want to die, go in there. This time the investigators don't just see a dark figure, but they see perfect copies of all three of them staring back. Now understandably, the team is seriously freaked out. 
and who wouldn't be? So, what would you do if you came face to face with someone who looks exactly like you? Especially I definitely would keep up. standing right out front of the building. No. Oh, I would basically at that point I'd just... I'd be 12 blocks away. Yeah. yeah. I'd be having an asthma attack and dying like right there 12 blocks away probably from I'd probably, so fast. Yeah, I'd probably just like bolt as fast as I can, go back to my house and just like sit in the corner with a shotgun and just like, just like, you're not taking me. You're not taking me. Because that's, that's the thing about doppelgangers because of like... Uh, the sort of like a rule when it comes to doppelgangers there aren't enough there aren't enough uh, uh, there's not enough room in this world for two of us and it's just like yeah I mean I'd probably just be like okay I guess I'm just gonna wait here in this corner until either I die of old age or until that thing takes me allegedly haunted abandoned building let me know. You can watch this entire investigation with more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Wokiata Official. Dashing out of the woods. Nuke's top five viewer Martin and his wife are out delivering food for DoorDash, driving through a wooded area near Chesapeake, Virginia. Hey! Suddenly, they spot something truly disturbing. Bigfoot? What the f I didn't see it. <laughs> Is it not a I saw it. I don't know what the f was. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I thought it was a It's not a deer. Me too. No, I thought it was like a reflection. Of it was not a f reflection. There was no water to reflect off of it. I don't know what the f it was. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I'd bolt too. So do I. I've hit what enough of them to know. Did you see it? Nope. A strange figure can be seen running out of the woods at a super fast speed. And then it disappears into the darkness on the other side of the road. Now, really looks like you certainly been a can't deer, blame though. him, but Martin doesn't want... I don't know. The, it, the way it's moving, it's like it's a creature running on two legs. Mm, it's a I bipedal. Know. I didn't really catch Any part of this. He jams his foot down on the gas. So freaking blurry, I don't know how you can tell. Out of there. While his girlfriend kind of giggles at him a little bit. But now Martin got the best view of this figure, and he says that something on two legs just jumped from the trees and ran right across the road. Yeah, I guess it's Martin that says that it kind of looked two legged. Yeah. I I'd be like I mean <laughs> I'd roll down my window and be like, Hey, Bigfoot, stay out of our fucking neighborhood. Hear me? Whatever it was <laughs> looked humanoid, but he has no clue what it could have been. So what do you think Martin and his wife captured on their dash cam? Let me know down in the comments. Humming from the halls. Duke's top five year Max Cortez from Austin, Texas, works at Gables Republic Square Residential Complex as a concierge. The original construction was built in 1904 as a warehouse, before later being redeveloped into modern luxury apartments. The rest of the history of the building is pretty much unknown. But late one night, worker Max experiences something so terrifying that he actually calls the building security team to come check it out. Hello? 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 Oh, bro. F Hello? 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 What makes this? What do you want to bet that that's someone who's just like placed like a Bluetooth speaker somewhere innocuous, <laughs> and they have just like played that like creepy hum? They like literally Googled creepy humming, 
a female, creepy female humming. You think you'd eventually be able to pinpoint where it's coming from if that was the case? Well, though. it depends on the acoustics of the area because it it in certain places acoustics are weird, dude. It's like a good echo around the walls and stuff and be hard to track down. Yeah, and that's and you see if it's say instead of saying hello over and over, I'll be like, "Who's humming?" Yeah, instead <laughs> actually, just in case someone didn't think I was talking to them. <laughs> actually, I've got a good reason where it could be a good place where it could be that way. The sound could travel and it would like sound like it's coming out of multiple areas. The air duct. Yeah. Like put it, put one inside an air duct in one room and then just like blare it, and then all of a sudden it's just like. Uh, it it's coming out of all the air vents, and it sounds like it's coming from everywhere. Just for the sake of scaring the crap out of one random person you don't know. <laughs> well, no, I think probably whoever did this is someone who, who basically knows Max and is just like, I'm gonna creep the shit out of Max. Could be that. He took my sandwich out of the fridge. He wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a late night work revenge. If he's stealing people's sandwiches out of the work fridge, he definitely deserves to be creeped out. Yeah. This event even creepier is that this unexplained humming that sounds like either a woman or a child only seems to get louder, as if something is coming closer and closer to Max. Hello? Hello? Nope. I'm to get the fuck out of there. I'm like, bro, you're in tech. Max turns a quarter. He like stopped for a second and then started back up way louder uh, and he's uh, like, uh, like, uh, uh. Like, and just, I'm about to leave. Seems like whoever or whatever is humming is suddenly right in his face. Max said that he had security come back again to check it out, but they didn't find anyone, and the building security cameras caught nothing out of the ordinary. So did Max experience a freak paranormal event while working the late shift? Let me know. Or was someone messing with Visitors. It? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, How could they make it do that, though? I don't like know. If it was somebody playing, playing a prank, how could they make it louder right when you got at that certain point. I don't know. That's that's one of the things. I mean, again, my theory is just one thing. That's But if that's literally like a paranormal thing, I mean, there's really no explaining it because we know so little about, like, what's on the other side that me just sitting here guessing is just... It's basically a moot point. Now, this next freaky video has been circulating the internet, this but no one really seems to know the source. Some skeptical viewers even claim to have seen the video before, but if they did, it seems like no one can provide a link to prove it. So the only story that goes with this video is that it was allegedly recorded by a CCTV camera, and what happens next is unnerving. I've seen this. Whoa. What the hell? Yeah, I remember this video. A series the of lights strange at the lights top. move forward in the night sky before a loud flash of light seems to hit the ground like a lightning bolt. Power to the buildings and streetlights nearby seems to be temporarily disrupted. Now, since there's no source, of course the internet is conflicted. Some believe that the CCTV camera was simply recording in the right place at the right time and captured uh, aliens. And oh others just believe special effects. So aliens or effects are whatever. I leave that up to you to decide. The cool special Why effects if somebody went to the trouble to do it. Yeah, yeah. how did they make the, all the lights go out and everything? It doesn't look like it's been tampered with. Well, it doesn't look like it's been tampered with, but... Right special here, effect. this, uh, you know, the, the lights in the sky. The camera was simply recording in the right place. Yeah, the lights in the it's sky the up time. here. And then the lightning strike could have just been like a lightning strike that happened as part of the, um, like, the storm that was going on. Mm -hmm. And it knocked the lights out. But then, like, someone came back and just, like, added the lights up there. Oh, okay. Because that's... 
Can, Added the UFO in post, basically. Yes. And mm. now that's not me taking away and saying, like, this is not real, this is fake. I'm merely painting logical pictures in my mind as to how this could be faked. And it's that, that's just how my mind is. I have a skeptical... I have a skeptical mind when it comes to a lot of stuff on the internet. This that is right there like, looks I enjoy like these kind of videos, but I always talk about what I think it could be, you know? Yeah. And people say, well, you're taking it too seriously. Just like, just shut up and enjoy the video. It's like, dude. Dude, I am enjoying it. I, I am too. I'm talking about it. I'm making, we're literally sitting here making, like, content out of this. I mean, dude, it's, it's just, if you just want us if to sit here If you don't want to hear people nothing, talk about the video, why are you watching a reaction to the video? I, that's a good question. Believe special if I leave that up. That looks like here. a so alien. What say what now? And others just believe. Go back special. to what is that? That oh, that's just like something nuke added in. That's a. But what's the other thing though? What behind it? Yeah. Effects. I don't think that's originally part of like. Let's just go back and watch the original vid. What's next is a nerd. Lights in the sky, and then bow. Oh, I think that's... Uh... That's the inside of the camera. Oh, yeah, that is. That's the camera itself right there, and it's recording itself because of the glass that's over top of it. Which mm -hmm. also makes me think that the flash of light is real. That it was like a lightning strike or something, if so. Yeah. Hmm. Plus, it does give off thunder that's another thing too mm -hmm. that's what makes me like believe that it's a it's a lightning strike that they've added stuff to in post or in post production so i think they probably added like the beep sound on the ufo if they added stuff to it yeah and the red light right there yeah that could also be added yeah, I don't know. That it, There's a lot of stuff in my mind that this could be done with very good editing. Uh, and, you know, if you know your way around it. But at the same time, if it's real, dude, that's pretty compelling evidence for aliens. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's my. a cool clip. <laughs> oh, yeah. A haunted hotel. Uh -oh. Harry, Brett, and Danny from the YouTube channel My Haunted Hotel have installed 16 live cameras in multiple rooms of what is said to be, quote, the UK's most haunted ah, I've hotel. seen this place before. It's the old King's Head Inn in Chester, England. The inn was built way back in 1622, and it's said to be haunted by at least 13 ghostly entities. Visitors seeking a supernatural ghosts. encounter travel from all over the country to spend the night in the hotel in hopes of nope. having a spooky Creepy dolls on the of their own. Nope. Yeah. Harry, Brad, and Danny are there to monitor and support their guests in case anything happens. And all the while, the live cameras record everything. So if you're familiar with my channel, you already know that we featured the King's Head Inn before. And these cameras have indeed recorded multiple terrifying paranormal moments. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it was the generator kicking on. <laughs> Scared the shit out of her. But there's one, like... Last time that so it was like a baby. I was gonna say, it's like, I was gonna say, if a little ghost baby comes crawling towards me, I'm gonna put that thing across the freaking floor. <laughs> we featured them. The My Haunted Hotel team has come into possession of an allegedly haunted doll called ah. Grace. Ah! A creepy cursed doll locked inside a glass box mm. in room eight of the hotel, where a camera records the doll 24 7. One afternoon at 3 46 p.m., Something happens that absolutely shocks the three friends. I haven't seen this one before. Nope. Hello, no. Bah. Nope. 
She's like, she's just, she's like, what's good? Now imagine her head just like spins and toward, spins towards the camera and just be like, what's up, motherfuckers? Mm -mm. No one is in the room when the doll appears to eerily just move on its own. But that's not all that they've captured since we last featured My Haunted Hotel. Another night and Harry, Brett, and Danny gather around a table in a section of the hotel that was once a brothel with some of their guests. As they conduct a spirit box session, hotel guest Gemma oh, decides I saw to that. ask a few questions of one of the spirits that is believed to haunt the inn. The spirit is known as Charles. And what happens next you is like truly a doll on bizarre. The Charles, if you're here with us, can you come and say hello? So let me the table just move. Yeah, the whole table just moves. Yeah, a bit then, I right? That. Oh, don't no know. one else feeling it? Yeah. Uh, Sal is weird. Charles, are you moving the table? Can you do it again? Fuck! <laughs> what the f is this? Thank you. <laughs> Charles, are you moving the table? Can you do it again? Fuck! <laughs> What has just happened? That's just thrown itself over, but in a way we can't work out. It's literally just gone. Charles, are you moving the table? Can you do it again? Fuck! What the f is this? Cut to another night. And just for reference, the My Haunted Hotel team makes sure that the cameras are recording 24 7 just in case something happens when no one is around. So late one night in hotel room six, they capture something that they can't explain. And of course, a pentagram on the ground. It the hell? Whoa. An eerie. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah. Like r right here before it goes there's by the window, orb. there's see it reflect on the wall. Yeah, right there. Yep. An eerie white figure can be seen flying past the window. Now it should be noted that this window is three stories up, with nothing and no way to reach the window from the outside. Harry, Brett, and Danny have no explanation for the creepy capture. They don't know who or what this could be and believe they might have captured proof of the paranormal. You can watch all of these spooky moments and many more over on the YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. <laughs> Damn. Sundown. That's why I could have easily dangled something from the roof for the last one. Yeah, that's... It's not the most damning thing I've seen in terms of, like paranormal stuff but you know it is pretty silly it's just like it's just like I, I can almost actually hear like someone up over top of the window just going like Woo yeah. and just like swooping it in and yeah exactly <laughs> channel exploring undercover reached out to me about a recent camping trip he took with his friend david the guys are in the middle of nowhere in scotland surrounded by very old abandoned who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband Eustace Man. Yeah! stone Sorry. cottages the two friends record their trip as they start to set up camp for the night Strange after a bit of fishing and as the know. sun is about to set Connor and David are lighting a campfire when they capture something absolutely chilling. She does that with all those glasses. If we don't get a fire, it's There you go. We just need some fire starters. Huh. Oh my god. Whoa. Weird. Two figures walk by. 
an adult and a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An unexplained voice can be heard saying, Oh my god. But even more disturbing, two white figures can be seen I'm to be more like, I'm gonna do it! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do it! I'm oh, I'm gonna do, do it! I'm gonna do it! It's like, it's almost like that green needle and brainstorm thing. It's just like, yeah. it's like, it's like they tell you what they think they heard. And then... Hey, Vega. Hey, buddy. Oh. Who's a sweet kitty? Good boy. Inside one of the abandoned cottages on the hill behind them, one figure looks to be around the yeah. height of an average adult, but the second little white figure trailing behind is about the size of a small child. Now, neither Connor or David heard or saw any of this at the time. And again, let me remind you, these stone cottages are completely abandoned. So what do you think mm. these creepy white figures could be? Let me know. You can watch this entire video and even more clips of the spooky abandoned cottages over on the YouTube channel, Exploring Undercover. I know, I know who they, I know who it is, or I know what it, what it is. I was going to say, they're in England, right? Or Ireland. Ireland. You know who it is? Fucking Pikes. I swear. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, for the, for my Irish traveler, like, fans out there, just know that I say that just quoting the film Snatch, so don't take it as me, like, saying anything against, like, Irish travelers or, or gypsies. I'm, yeah, I'm not about that. First time, last time. In this next mysterious video, a pair of very inexperienced ghost hunters decide to record their very first ghost hunt. Uh -huh. They check out an allegedly haunted house near their home in Germany. So, the guys are very nervous to enter the dark, creepy building at night. And it turns out that they have very good reason to be scared. Okay, quick question. Why the hell are you coming up here at the pitch black of night? Like, why not during the day? Why not plan out a time to come up here during the daytime? This is when it's the most spooky. I hear you, but if I'm do if I'm a dude that's just like going to visit like an old property or something like that. I don't want to fall down and, like, puncture my leg on, like, a rusty nail or something like that. Hmm. Kitty is over there looking at a ghost. That's probably Rusty. I was say, hey, Rusty, you there, boy? Rusty? Nah. Rusty was a good dog. He didn't have any regrets or anything like that. Kitty's just staring at the pitch black crack under the door like you see something over there. Yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of creepy, but at the same time, it's just like, he's a cat. He's going to do what he wants. Yeah. Anyway. God dang it. I don't it. like this. God dang it. I'm so stupid. What? I was looking intently at the screen, and then all of a sudden, I saw a figure in the dark, and I was like, what the... And then I noticed, it's your reflection. <laughs> I know. Figure in the dark? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, in you can see screen. Nick's reflection in the freaking TV. <laughs> It's like, damn, dude, that ghost just flipped me off. Just being like, yeah, <laughs> or that ghost just like dancing in the corner, just like. <laughs> Do they not have flashlights? 
flashlights? I don't know. Is that you're How gonna would take? you even go in that place? Don't know. Well, say, man, you're gonna sit down on the shit up. Some Blair Witch shit. The Spolter Geisten. The explorers are shocked as a pile of stack crates seem to be yeah. knocked over by an invisible force. As they run in fear, an eerie childlike voice can be heard right behind them. The two newbie ghost hunters take a moment to calm down before heading back inside to try to find a rational explanation for what they just witnessed. Seriously. It did not go well. You don't say. I'd say, bro, at least have some night vision on this shit. Yeah. Because that's the thing. If I'm going to go exploring somewhere, I'm having like a night vision goggle thing that Thermal. like has a camera yeah. attached to it. And I'm like going I'm like going. Str I'm going strapped too. I'm not like I'm going with a piece because I don't want like if if some shit goes down. If you're going ghost hunt, also bring a cross and a Bible or something. Well, yeah. no, nah, I'll bring a crucifix. You ain't got to worry about that. I'll bring my I'll bring my nana's like old silver crucifix that she carried with her her whole life. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. A door slams shut and the two nervous friends once again just make a run for it. But they do manage to calm down and stop to take just one more look. Oh my God. And that's when they see something absolutely terrifying. What? The two young ghost hunters spot the creepy figure of a little girl seemingly. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> nope. She's like staring back at him, just like, I'm gonna eat your soul. It just looks like a blown up photograph. Watching them from the darkness. And with that, they've had about enough. They run out of the house, and I assume they just go screaming home. Now, I guess it goes without saying that these two friends had a very short lived ghost hunting career. This video is over 13 years old, and it was posted to YouTube anonymously. So, is it real? Or just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks for watching and please hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never well. miss a video. Also follow me on the socials and I'll probably answer. Okay. Or something might have gone wrong. Ich scheiße wrong. Either way. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know so if you understood that or not. <laughs> well, I translated the German that ich we said. My Niederhosen. I <laughs> shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know I actually t uh, went in google uh, translate and I translated something from English into Dutch for uh, for uh, for Nino just just because I could I basically I've hit, I can't remember 100% what I said but for the life of me I, I, I had to do it and then I did one in Spanish for Rick because I was I got the I gifted them these games and uh I was like telling them I was like insulting them but at the same time like having fun with it. But god. You see I don't know. There's several of these that feel more authentic than others. Then there's others I'm just like these could be faked pretty easily. But that last one, I don't know. That last one where it was... That may have been like an experimental 
um, experimental like uh, you know production that those guys did because uh, uh, there was one uh, a lot of people thought was real for the longest time and then eventually it was found out oh no these uh, like this person was faking it a hundred percent it was the, the angry German kid who like smashed up the keyboard and stuff like that um, a lot of people were convinced that that was real but then later on it was revealed he's just like oh no that was just we wanted to try and make the funniest video that we could and um, that was it and it, it's crazy how that works I mean it's crazy just like, like sometimes you 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 see stuff posted anonymously and you're just like it's like maybe it is real because you know they didn't post anything else meanwhile the people are well aware of like what they posted and you know they just don't do anything else on that channel it's just like the original like the original post on YouTube like the first ever video it's one of the most viewed videos and the account has millions upon millions of subscribers and views and everything like that and that's the only video that's on there it's crazy how that works yeah. but alright anyway Nuke's top 5 top 10 scary ghost videos that are nightmare fuel so if you enjoyed and you want to see more from Nuke's Top 5, feel free to click their name in the title of the video. But I guess for now, that's going to do it. So until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. Hi, I'm Nick. And uh, yeah, stay safe and don't be afraid of no ghosts. <laughs>